I love the idea of kitchen table philosophy. The absolute wonder in women sharing their stories, breaking bread, creating magic, finding extraordinary in our seemingly mundane, claiming space to ensure our rich threads in this tapestry of life do not fade in colour, forgotten. I heard a friend say once, Sometimes the story will find you. I wanted to learn the stories at the heart of Irish women. Some women I already knew and loved. Some I had yet to meet. And one woman that kept appearing relentlessly on rural roads in odd little nooks, passing cemeteries, housing estates, at the bottom of strangers' gardens, on mountain roads, in people's houses, a ghostly figure in white and blue. I heard a friend say once, sometimes the story will find you. I wanted to know what she had to say. I wanted to know her through the stories of the women of this island. Their relationships appeared inextricably linked. I heard a friend say once, Sometimes the story will find you. I thought my journey began by Muckish Mountain. In that little inlay on the road where we stopped in darkness, seat belt off and offered a little kiss to that lady in grey. The bridge of tears not far behind us. I didn't know then about those who had to say goodbye to loved ones for the chance at a better life. Here, in the gap, a place to stop, reflect, catch breath and pray. I heard a friend say once, Sometimes... The story will find you. We spent a few weeks one summer driving through Ireland, exploring places I'd never seen alone on a bus. Over and over again, there she was, in random places, hidden shrines on dangerous road bends. Curiosity sparkled in my brain. We ventured to Galway on that mystery tour, stayed in a small cottage just outside a town, still reeling from countless violations perpetrated against innumerable young mothers, babies buried, lost in time. We sat in the car, eating breakfast, beside a rustic and ramshackle shrine, paint chipping, plastic flowers faded, weathered. Conjuring ideas to investigate this phenomenon further. What began as joking irreverence turned to an idea that demanded more than my imagination could ever have conceived. I heard a friend say once, Sometimes the story will find you. I petitioned eagerly women I knew, reached out through networks without expectation and listened. We talk together, shared ideas and our lives from each new concept that shaped the next. Like devotional petitions scribbled on scraps of paper, rolled up tight and tucked away in the gaps of rock, these stories of womanhood and Mary had become discreetly out of sight. I heard a friend say once, sometimes the story will find you. Childhood memories of confusion, not whistling lest Our Lady be offended, first communion dresses, and oh, the fuss, hoping to be picked for special processions, to wear it one more time, wanting somehow to be thought good enough, lofty the heights of a virgin unattainable. Then motherhood dehumanised in submission or carrying the eternal shame of not wanting it to be the only choice inability to reconcile perfection immaculate the horrors of the women who walked these paths before us are around us those who have yet to come 
I heard a friend say once, sometimes the story will find you. Devotional stories of finding strength, comfort and loving faith, adoration for this sacred feminine, affinity found in a relatable deity to petition in anguish and despair, a softer side to this male-driven religion. These stories were gathered, shared through laughter, tears and anger, empathetic sorority connected histories, redress, sought in love. I heard a friend say once, sometimes the story will find you. We talked of institutions and hushed practices silenced no more. We talked of her womanhood, how we identified with her lack of agency, the suffering she had no choice to accept. And how must that have felt? My journey to finding this woman showed me much of my own self. As mother, I wanted to hold her. Tell her there's no shame in tears. Understanding in the anguish felt to be there for your child. From first to last breath. I wanted to let her know I see that humanity. Despite being clothed in heavy white and blue robes. I heard a friend say once. Sometimes the story will find you.